Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the first week of October read start from the 1st through the 7th of October 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Uh, Pisces, let's see how the first week of October is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading. I will also be adding messages from your person and um color cards as well so stay tuned and now uh, before i dive into the read let me remind you it is a general read it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box so let's dive into the read and let's see how the first week is going to be for my fishies Wow, so we have a few cards here. I'm going to include all of them. Let's see what is happening for my fishies in the uh, in the first week of uh, um, October 2022. We do have Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Um, I really see that uh, there are people in your life who are talking about you and your life. Uh, these people could be your friends, family, who are talking about your personal life when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your career, when it comes to um, your your uh, success maybe for some of you. But I really see there are people in your life who are your friends or family who are talking about you. And um, as you hear them, as you, say, uh, as you hear what they're saying about you, I feel like you know, it definitely is going to bother you um in the in in this week time but i feel like you know at the same time you are going to keep it to yourself you are not going to be like you know um letting them know that you are hurt with what they are telling uh about you it it can be like you know they they are unhappy with a certain way of your life maybe for some of you but whatever it is it is not going to bother you are you are going to continue living the life that you are living and i feel like you know that's the strength that you have in this week time to take stand for what you believe in and it doesn't matter whoever supporting you or not so i feel like you know if there is a situation in your life which is uh, making you feel like you know um people really want you to walk past it or move out of it you are going to still stay strong around it so i feel like you know, for majority of you it's your way of being which is affecting uh, which is making people have some opinions and either them talking about it or their opinions can affect you in a negative way or you could just ignore it. So I feel like you know, for the majority of you, I really do see you ignoring the opinions. So if things have been kind of like, you know, out of uh, control for you lately in your life where you were like getting bothered by what they have to say, I feel like, you know, this week is going to be the time where you are going to get rid of uh, those uh, thoughts where you are going to let them affect you. You might hear them say shit about you, but at the same time, you're not going to let their shit affect you in any negative way. So I really see you very much in top um, of your, your life, on top of your life. And I feel like, you know, you are going to stay very patient, calm, and uh, kind of... Um, pretty much happy and content with wherever you are, whatever you're doing for yourself, be that in love, work, or home life situation. Um, I feel like you know, for, uh, for some of you, you will have to make certain decisions. Maybe your, your people around you are bothered about that. Maybe there are some decisions that they are telling you to make, but you are not taking or making any decision, which could be affecting them. Maybe it is a love life situation. Maybe your people who you are close to want you to take uh, certain actions in your love life, but you are not taking those actions. Uh, you are still uh, believing in the, in the same situation same person same relationship which is um why you are being kind of uh um maybe maybe it's your family who's uh, telling you to move on maybe it's your your close friends who wants to see you happy uh who are not willing to see you single who are not willing to see you um suffering any further so there might be some sort of pressure coming in from friends and family for you to move on but i really don't see you choosing that path you would rather choose not to think about your love life in the in the in this week time uh you would rather choose to focus on um yourself uh because i feel like you know for some reasons i feel like you know um you would rather uh, wait for things to happen than uh, to to um, you know um, to it's it's more like maybe maybe for some of you you have kind of like you know, decided okay fine I I am not gonna think about my love life at all right now and I really want to focus myself on to my career my work my my stability uh, that has nothing to do with my love life so maybe you are approaching that way of life and maybe your your people who are who are very close to you who are your friends or family they want you to settle down so they are not happy with your decisions you are not going to consider their opinions and i feel like you know it's going to be a week where you are going to hear them talk about 
it and you are going to get hurt for them not supporting of your decisions but at the same time you are not giving up on your path of dealing with things or your way of dealing with things you are trying to stay very strong about your uh, your your uh, intentions whatever it is that you desire whether you want a specific someone whether you want to end a love life situation whether you want to stay single whether you want to be in a in a relationship which might seem kind of toxic to other people you are going to stand tall for what you believe in so i really feel like you're very um strongly and uh, you know dedicatedly working towards something you don't have a support of people not even the people that you care and love uh, but at the same time you are going to continue putting effort in that situation uh, on your own so you would not need people around you to help you to guide you you are very strong in your conviction and you are believing in yourself more than anything else so I feel like you know you are coming out as a stronger person in this week time um, and you are going to show dedication towards whatever it is that you believe rather than going with the what others have to say to you or their opinions you are not gonna let that affect you in a negative way so that's what is happening for you for this week time let's see what is uh, going on in your love life in this uh, week time because I really don't see it's a situation that you might be like you know it's it's not um it's an overall situation that you would be dealing with in the first week time but let's see what is specifically happening in your love life what is specifically happening in your love life wow Now, I feel like, you know, um, for some of you, you are secretly manifesting your love uh, of your life. And you are not ready to um, allow any opinion to detract you right now. You are going to stay very focused on what you desire. And I feel like, you know, you think that you are very close to achieve your goals. You are feeling you are being prepared by the heavens to get you what you want. And whatever comes in, in terms of their opinions, whatever circumstances that you're going to be having, you are staying strong in yourself about whatever it is that you desire. So you believe that something tremendously positive is going to happen for you in your love life. So I really feel like you will be getting your wish granted. Um, it might happen. It might come through in this very weak time, which is going to come as a surprise for you yourself and for the family who are talking shit about it right now. So I really see that... Um, it's, it's something happening in the background because this is the dominant energy which which is like you know you, the people around you are seeing that maybe you your love life is not um where it should be and they are concerned about you and then there is something which is manifesting in the background um and um uh, secretly and i feel like you know the, this this energy is something which is staying there and then you are secretly manifesting the love of your life so it might come as a surprise for all of you who are concerned because you haven't shared it out or you would not be sharing it out to anyone. So you might be having talks with your person, you might be having communication with them, you might be going out with them, but you are keeping it to yourself. Your people don't know that you are dealing with someone right now. Maybe they believe that you, you need to put an end to a situation with a specific someone. But then you know what you are doing with your love life and now uh, I feel like you know you are pretty much very close to get what you want. So even if you don't, uh, if you are not even talking to them, I really see some sort of uh, manifestation taking place here. So if you have been having mental conversation, you are using affirmations, you are using tools and techniques to manifest your love life, I feel like you are very close to get what you want with this person. For majority of you, it might happen in this week time, uh, or for others of you, it might come in when the very, uh, you know, in the very beginning of the second week of October time. So I really see something manifesting for you in love. But as of now, I really see that you know, just like other people in your life, um, I feel like you know there there is a lot which is being you know uh, told to you about your love life. But at the same time, you have kind of a great strength and reliance upon um, the divine around the manifestation of what you desire in love. So I really see that working out well for you that way. So um, let's see some oracle guidance here. Let's see what it has to add. What is the oracle guidance for you? Growing up. Wanting to grow in experience, rejection of perpetual youth. I feel like, you know, um, whatever has happened, has happened. You're growing within that situation. You have matured up. 
you have surrendered you have dealt with it in a very positive way you have changed you have uh, evolved as a person and i feel like you know as you have evolved um you know how to make it make it work how to make it happen and i feel like you know it's more about your understanding of how to keep silent till it is there for you to share to the world so if it applies to your situation i really feel like you are you are you have understood how to make things happen you're not going to share it out till it's there to to be shown to the world so there is something secretly going on behind the curtains and uh, you are keeping it to yourself um you might be manifesting it you might be talking to a person you might be like you know flourishing a connection behind the curtains but something is happening in your love life which you are keeping to yourself right now um or between you and your god messages for a rabbit service to the animal world i feel like you know for some of you you could be very uh, could be feeling a very um um good connect with um, with the with you know animals right now um you might be uh, receiving a lot of for those of you who are into like you know um your uh, animal spirit guides maybe you will be having a lot of support coming from them and as well in this uh, week time to manifest your dreams desires and goals as well you might be receiving a lot of messages coming from divine uh you know uh guidance that way as well so um let's see some more cards here let's see what else is uh what else is the divine message for you right now in the, in the given situation for this week time we have how can i deepen my trust right now um trust surrender let go of the wheel you can trust you can trust yourself trust fully in yourself so that it can deepen your trust in others trust creates safety and when we feel safe we feel unstoppable and i feel like you know, that's exactly what you're doing here you are feeling unstoppable and you are believing in your your own desires right, right now you don't need other people and their opinions to to uh, make you believe in yourself you are going very strong about your certain belief system today's action that you need to take is let go and trust today find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others i feel like you know um for majority of you i feel like you know even though circumstances don't show any uh, positive result for you right now you are very strong in your conviction around whatever it is that you desire so you are staying strong in your head in your mind in your heart in your soul about whatever it is that you desire in your life and you're you you're strongly believing in it whether your life is like you know completely depicting something else right now um you are very sure about what you want and what you are going to get for sure so your dedication is uh definitely uh you know are uh, showing very strong here in this week time um let's see some more oracle cards here let's see what else is happening here in this week time for my fishies let's see let go of control issues um allow the situation to unfold naturally that's exactly what you would be doing uh staying strong around whatever you want believing in it and letting go of your control issues letting go of how it will happen when will it happen you're staying very strong around it that it will happen or it shall happen so you are allowing things to happen uh, with the, with divine flow so let's see messages from your person let's see what do they have to say to you right now what is it that they have to say to you right now you have surrendered completely and you're manifesting something secretly and i feel like in you know, a majority of you uh you are trying to um not even face it yourself i feel like you know you 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 might have set some intentions and you are manifesting that without even you knowing it for some of you i don't know why i'm picking up that energy because it seems like you know something else is going on in your life right now and your prime focus is not that and i feel like you know it's uh, you are pretty much focused on giving and uh, being charitable to others being kind and generous to others and that's what you are focused on right now and deep down there is some sort of manifestation taking place for you maybe for some of you you have written something like a scripting or something in the recent past and that is coming true to you in this week time or the next week time and the beginning uh, but whatever it is it might surprise you because uh, that is coming to fruition and um, you are not even aware of it so i feel like you know something is manifesting in the background and you are unaware of it and now uh, let's see messages from your person what is it that they want to say okay so we have a few cards here 
um i want to feel that way again so somebody really wants to get back with you they want to feel you pres uh, your presence in their life i know i messed up everything so somebody's aware of the fact that they messed up everything with you they want to get back with you just being near you is intoxicating um this person really feels like you know they are very uh sexually drawn to you and being near you is always turning them on um it was my fault but i blamed you so somebody's ready to take the um you know blame on themselves for the failure of the connection and they are ready to put effort into the connection again so you might see somebody coming from the past back into your life uh to offer you love to offer you commitment exactly the way you once desired again maybe you're not focused on it right now uh but something is secretly manifesting for you in the background in the behind you know um behind the curtains so um yeah let's see some color cards let's see what the color uh card has to add <clears throat> what colors could be significant or lucky for you in the first week of October? Let's see. Pink, let love in. I really see a lot of love coming in your life in this week time. And especially um, for maybe those of you who have uh, kind of like, you know, who, who, who are not concentrating on love on the, on the basic or the primary thought process. Um, I feel like, you know, you are busy, you are occupied with lots of things happening. You are hearing other people talking about your love life, but at the same time, you are kind of like, you know, believing in something beautiful to come for you. And you would, um, kind of like, you know, uh, shout out to the world that yes, you got what you wanted once you have achieved it. So you don't want to talk about it until, unless you have it. So I feel like, you know, it's time for you to let love in. Pink color is going to be lucky and significant for you. Number four or fourth of October could also be a significant date for you as well. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, till I do the next read for you guys, take care and bye.